everyone welcome back to my channel i wanted to share with you guys this really fun um, memory decks card that i made um using ks craft's new um vintage wall phone die set so this is from the may 2023 release and um so the die set actually makes this really fun vintage wall phone that i have here and then i mounted it on um an older kind of ks craft um uh, memory decks die and I can't remember the name of this die set but this actually does like fold over it makes like a little pocket but um, I use that as my base because the phone was very tall and I just wanted something kind of tall to, to back it on and um, so yeah so I cut that out um, I actually cut this out three times so two different types of pattern paper and then I did a heavy cardstock kind of in between so it would be nice and sturdy and just glued all those together and then um, I did stitch I don't know if you can see here but I did a straight stitch and then kind of a curved stitch at the bottom and then added this little um, gold glitter paper that little strip there just to kind of finish that off and then um, put together this really fun um, vintage wall phone. It's so super cute. I actually use the um, Woodland Grove by Maggie Holmes collection. And I just really, really love how that turned out. Um, I did, if you can see here, so um, the dial for the phone and the like little part where the money you know, once you put your money in to make your call, you know, it would drop down into this part of the phone and then that's where, you know, you could get the money out. Um, so those two parts there, I did cut those out in foam and then I cut um, this out in glitter car sock and then this outer piece that's supposed to be the dial, the rotary dial. Um, out of this mirror um, gold cardstock and then cut this out of the foam and then the gold mirror cardstock. And the cool thing about this is it actually does turn. So it turns like an actual rotary phone, which I thought was kind of cute. And I just uh, adhered that with a brad so that it would, you know, spin. But you don't have to do that. You could just, you know, glue that um, directly onto your project. Um, and I did, so right when I saw this, I'll show you the die set real quick. Um, so this is what the die set looks like here. But this is your base piece, and it's like a pretty substantial, you know, base. And I don't know why, but right when I saw it, I thought that would be so cute to have like a shaker um, for your phone. So the whole base of the phone to be a, sh a shaker. So that's what I decided to do um, with the die set. So I, and rather than do a, like an acetate, I actually um, sewed some white tool to the base and then left the bottom part open, added my sequins, and then sewed it closed. And then, um, and of course, you know, most of it gets covered up, but I just think it's really cute when you can see those little bits of um, sequins poking through, and it does still sort of shake. If I had done it on acetate, you, it would have shake, it would shake more, but that's okay. I kind of just like that little bit coming through. Um, but I love the details on this. I mean, you have like the little um, handle here. I forgot what that, that's called, but that's kind of where when you would dial, you know, it would, would stop it at that point and, you know, properly, I guess, dial the numbers. But um, anyway, so whatever that has that little lever, it has this little um, part here, this piece that's like the cradle that the, the um, top of the phone would sit in. Um, I love that this has like a layering piece for the actual handle of the phone. Um, I just think that's really cute. And I did pop that up on a little bit of foam to give that some dimension. And then I love the little loop on the um, cord. So really super cute. Oh, and then this detail, can't forget, that is like really awesome because that's actually when you would make a phone call, it was like five cents, 10 cents, 25, depending on if you're making a long distance call or not. I know for <laughs> some of the younger people, you aren't gonna know what all this is, but um, but yeah, most of us do um, know what it is and it's super, super cute. I just love all the attention to detail, even the little keyhole to open that, you know, to get the money out. Um, I did layer this with some, um, so this is the daisy flower from last month's um, Chaos Craft set. This is the Sakura flower from Scrap Diva. Um, but I love these two together. Then that's a really fun, um, those are two fun sets to have. And then I used a couple of stickers from the Woodland uh, Grove collection. And then these are um, some 
uh, flowers that Love Pink Dragonflies made for me years ago, and I added those in there, and um, this little beauty right there. But yeah, love, love, love how that turned out. And then um, just to show you really quickly, this is just kind of all the pieces to the die set. Um, but you know, if you just looked at this, you might not realize like how to put it together. But um, once you see some of these photographed, you can kind of see where all the pieces go. But definitely if you have this set and you're curious on how to put it together, um, let me know. I could possibly do a tutorial or um, at least kind of tell you what some of the pieces are. But like this piece here, um, you know, you attach there and that's kind of what holds your cradle. So it's this piece right here, if you guys can see that. Um, and then this is the actual handle of the phone. Um, this is that little cradle piece. So you would um, adhere that. Uh, the way you do it is you adhere this piece to that guy first before you put your handle piece over that. And then it looks like it's just sitting on the cradle. Does that make sense? Um, and then one of the pieces I didn't use is, um, so this is this this is the base piece for this. This goes over the top and you see you have a hole for your brad. And then this piece, technically you could put over there if you wanted to cover that up, but I actually liked the look of that. So I didn't use that. Um, this piece right here is this top piece. This piece right here um, is this bottom. And then um, what do we else we have? Oh yeah, this right here is this top piece. So um, yeah, pretty much kind of, I think I walked you through how to do, you know, how to put that together. But yeah, if you have questions, definitely let me know. Um, but isn't this amazing? I can't wait to make more of these. I love anything vintage like typewriter, cameras, phones. So um, this just kind of really has my heart. It's just absolutely adorable. Um, so I hope to see you guys make some. And if you do tag me so I can check them out. All right, thanks so much for stopping by, you guys. We'll see you on the next one.